If you've had a heart attack or heart surgery, we're here to help you on your road to recovery after you leave hospital. And while you're probably feeling much better, you will need to actively manage your condition to reduce your risk of a future heart attack or stroke. This program explains the six simple steps that you can follow to improve your heart health and enjoy a better quality of life. The heart is a muscle, and it's one of the largest muscles in our body that is used to actually pump the blood around our body to provide nutrients and oxygen uh, to all our organs in our body. Coronary artery disease is a condition that affects the, the arteries or the pipes around the heart. And these pipes are the critical vehicles in which our oxygen and blood and nutrients is passed around the muscle of the heart. You might hear your doctor call a heart attack a myocardial infarction. And that's just some damage that occurs to the heart muscle as a result of a blockage in one of the arteries of the heart. Angina is a condition where you get physical symptoms including chest pain or shortness of breath as a result of a blockage in one of the arteries around the heart. There are three main types of coronary arteries around our heart. Two main arteries come from the left and the right side of the aorta. The left coronary artery typically splits into two branches and that gives blood flow to two parts of the heart muscle whereas the right coronary artery is typically a single artery or a pipe that feeds blood flow to the bottom part of the heart. When these arteries become clogged or blocked with fatty deposits or cholesterol, these can restrict the amount of blood getting to the muscle and that can cause significant symptoms. Uh, I was having difficulty breathing and, uh, and sweating a lot. So, and coming in here, having it's being explained by the doctors and nurses to what was required and the actual time of rehabilitation um, and knowing that I wasn't going to have open heart surgery was probably one of the best things that I could have had done. Understanding your treatment is an important part of increasing the chances of a successful recovery. Here's some of the common heart procedures. So there are three main ways of treating heart disease. One is medication and there are certain types of medications that can be used to clear out clot in the artery and they're called thrombolytic medication. Another way to treat heart disease is by using stents and little devices to help open up arteries. You might hear the word or the term cabbage. That's open heart surgery. It can be life-saving for many patients who have multiple blockages around many arteries. This is an example of a pacemaker. Now pacemakers are little devices that typically sit beneath the chest, under the skin, with wires connecting this device to the heart. And these pacemakers can monitor the heart rate and actually stimulate the heart when the heart is not beating strongly enough on its own. Sometimes you might hear the term defibrillator. A defibrillator is a specific type of pacemaker that is used to restart the heart if the heart were to ever stop. Heart valve surgery is usually an open operation that involves replacing one of the diseased valves of our heart. Whatever procedure you had, remember, this is just a treatment, not a cure. It takes time to recover and the success of the procedure after you leave hospital is up to you. Having this condition and having, having a stent fitted, um, this was going to be a lifelong condition and it was something that I had to manage uh, over a long period of time. It is not something that's going away because you get one chance and you may not get another one. Here are some questions to ask your doctor or health professional. What happened to me? What treatment did I have? How long will it take to recover? What can I do to help me recover more quickly?